Hi y'all, welcome to Must Read Monday. My name is Dabney. I'm the young adult librarian at the Twin Lakes Library System and I use they them pronouns. Um, today I'm going to be talking to you all about web comics. So I love graphic novels and I love manga and about five years ago when I got onto Tumblr I discovered a new favorite thing which is web comics. If you've never read a web comic, they're amazing. Um, so what makes them different is basically you have creators who are um, writing and drawing their own comics and putting them online for free for people to read. So um, they're very, they can be very different from mainstream comics um, just because the stories that are told, you know, very all, all kinds of stories, all kinds of characters, um, they're very diverse and I love them. Um, you know, usually the people making them are, you know, they could be any age. They could be high schoolers. They could be college students. They could be people who are, you know, working full-time jobs, who have families, and they're just squeezing in time to create this comic that they really love. Um, sometimes web comics are made by multiple people. Sometimes there's like a writer and an artist, or sometimes it's one person doing the whole thing themselves. Um, so yeah, while web comics are free for us to read and enjoy, they're not free for creators. Um, the people making them are putting in tons and tons of time and effort to make something. So that's why I would just say if you do read web comics online, always be kind in your comic, in your comments on them, um, because yeah, people are putting in a lot of effort um, for those. Um, another reason why I love web comics is they're very bingeable. Um, I read them usually on apps that I have on my phone, and so I'll stay up, you know, way too late sometimes binge reading a new comic that I've found. Um, creators are also very good about tagging their content, so, um, you know, they'll let you know if it's like a mature con like comic, if there's things that are you know, for people who are 18 and older, or if it's not safe for work, they're also good about tagging things within the comic that might be a trigger for people. So those are all things that you might not necessarily get from a mainstream comic. Sometimes, you know, they'll let you, they'll give you like um, a rating and maybe a little bit about the content, but not much. But yeah, I feel like most web comic creators really want to make a safe space for their readers, and I appreciate that. All right, so I'm going to talk to you all about some web comics that I really love and you can read online and um, that have also been published. So first up is Heartstopper by Alice Oseman. Um, Alice Oseman is from England and she is quite young so her first YA novel Solitaire she published when she was a teenager. Um, she has three published YA books Solitaire, um, Radio Silence, I Was Born For This and then this is her webcomic series that she writes and draws so she's both an artist and an author. This series is still ongoing and it is on Tumblr and Tapas and Webtoons. So, what is it about? Um, it is a really lovely series about um, Nick and, Char oh sorry, <laughs> Charlie and Nick. What, what can I even say? Um, they are both, um, they go to school together at an all boys school in England. And so Charlie has been openly gay for a few years now he was outed and he had experienced quite a bit of bullying as a result of that uh, but now recently he has been befriended by Nick who is a rugby lad and it's like kind of an unlikely friendship but um, it's just very beautiful and so this is the story about them um, there are currently three volumes so volume one two and we have all of these in our library as well, but yeah, you can read them all online. Um, I think, you know, Alice Oseman does an amazing job of capturing, like, the high school experience and um, 
she has a fantastic cast of characters in this series that you'll come to love. So I very much recommend this. It's um, it's sweet, heartfelt, kind of slice of life, and um, lots of feels. Okay, next up we have Check Please by Ngozi Ukazu. This is another series that got, got its start on Tumblr and then has since been published. So you could read this on Tumblr or you could read it on checkpleasecomic.com. We also have the volumes in our library if you wanted to check them out. So this story is about Eric Biddle. Um, when the comic starts, he is a freshman at Samwell. He's just moved in to the college and is meeting all of his teammates for the first time. So he plays on their hockey team, but his true passion is baking, um, especially baking pies. He has a vlog and he's all about social media and just, anyways, he's a wonderful character. Um, the story covers his four years at Samwell with all the ups and downs and it's just um, hilarious and sweet and just very very fun so we've got volume one and then volume two that just came out last month all right next up is the tea dragon society so i'll just show you all i am wearing <laughs> my tea dragon society shirt that a friend sent to me it's really big but um it's a good sleep shirt so um, I'm wearing it because I knew I was going to talk about this book today. So, The Tea Dragon Society by Katie O'Neill. Um, this one, you can read the first volume online. And it's a, um, it's just a very lovely kind of fantasy novel. Um, lots of diverse characters. And it's about friendship and love and tea dragons. So tea dragons are these adorable little dragons who grow tea from the top of their heads. And then when you harvest the tea and drink it, it gives you um, an insight into the dragon's memories. So there you see another tea dragon. So I um, absolutely adore the art in this and the storytelling. It's very good. So yeah, we also have these volumes one and two in the library as well. Next up is Nimona by Noelle Stevenson. Um, you might know Noelle Stevenson from the Netflix reboot of She-Ra, which the fifth season comes out this month. Get excited. Um, she is also one of the creators of Lover Janes, which is a graphic novel series. So Nimona is... Um, kind of an off-the-wall fantasy story about heroes and villains and dragons and um, overthrowing like a corrupt, um, corrupt <laughs> government. So our main characters are is Nimona, who is a shape-shifting monster girl, and Lord Ballister Blackheart, who has been cast as the villain, and his nemesis, who is um, Golden Loin, the hero. But who is really the hero? Who is really the villain? Is the Institute really looking out for the people of this kingdom? Or are they not? So you should read it and find out. Um, I just will say, like, I really, I really love the art. It's all very good. Um, next up is Heart of Gold. So this one has not been published. This is just like a volume that they were selling in their store, but it is a web comic, so you can read it um, online. I'll have a link for that. And I just wanted to show you all this because it's um, a very different art style and type of story from the others. Um, it is like kind of a supernatural religious mystery about a priest who does mass healings and then a man in his congregation who is coming for healing but realizes that there's like something not quite right, something going on. So 
I highly recommend it. The art is some of my absolute favorite. And there we go. Okay. Also, I would recommend On a Sunbeam by Tilly Walden. Unfortunately, I don't have a book copy to show you because our copy at the library is currently checked out. Um, but you can read it online. I'll have the website linked to that. But On a Sunbeam is like an epic sci-fi story about um, a group of people who work together. They all live on this ship and their job is to go and restore like buildings and locations all over the galaxy. So it's an, it does have some like adventure, but I feel like it's kind of slice of life in space. Yeah, and a very diverse um, group of characters. Like there's a non-binary character, so I got very excited about that. Yeah, I recommend it. The art is so cool. Um, and Tilly Walden, like I said, that graphic novel was published and then she has other ones um, like Spinning is another one that she's written that's very good about ballerinas. And the last one I want to talk about is The Fever King. So um, it has a webcomic adaptation on webtoon. So the novel is by Victoria Lee. It's like a sci-fi kind of futuristic dystopia where there's a magical virus and if you get it um, you either die or you get magical powers and become what is known in their world as a witching. So the main character, Gnome Alvaro, gets the virus and becomes a witching with powers over technology. He is then recruited to join um, this elite government force, but he is like very revolutionary, wants to overthrow the government, so he's trying to figure out how he can do that from within this program. So, very good. Lots going on. I, um, I'm really enjoying the webcomic adaptation. The art is super cool. So definitely check that out on Webtoons. Alright. So those are my recommendations. And real quick, I'm going to tell you about where you can read some of these. So, like I said, Tumblr. Lots and lots of web comics on Tumblr. Um, tapas and Webtoons. I'm going to pull that up on my phone to show y'all. Um, so we got Tapas and Webtoon. So those are apps you can get on your phone. You can also read them on your computer. Um, they both give you the option, like on your phone, you can download comics to read offline, which is really great. Um, Tapas lets you filter out mature content if you want to do that. Um, and then they both have tons of different genres, which I love. Um, Tapas has action, fantasy, girls love, boys love, LGBTQ, horror, comedy, slice of life, romance, drama, mystery, sci-fi, and gaming. And then Webtoons has some overlap. They have Romance, superhero, drama, fantasy, comedy, action, sci-fi, slice of life, supernatural, school, heartwarming, thriller, mystery, sports, historical, informative. So you can like search within those genres to find what you want. And then they both have like um, on their pages like staff picks, what's new, what's trending, um, you know, if you find... If you're like subscribed to a series and reading it, they'll give you suggestions for similar series you should check out. Like I said, it's um it's all free. I do know that um on top of us there are some series that are called Wait for Free, so you get like only one episode a week, and then you know each week you get a new episode for free. Um, they do have like some things like if you wanted to read it all at once, you could pay for that. But like I said, that's only if you want to do that. There's tons and tons of free content on both apps. Um, and then last of all, I'll just do some quick shout outs to some web comics I read on those apps that I really enjoy. So on Tapas, um, I love, let's see. 
hashtag muted, ghost lights, eerie crest, stutter hug, lies within, rock and riot, lay normal, it's a French word but the comic is in English, um, autophobia and long exposure, and then on webtoons, I just recently got into that, um, so I don't have a lot to recommend yet, but Castle Swimmer, Nove, The Reaper in Waiting, and then there's a couple other YA books that have been adapted into webcomics on there. So Not Even Bones by Rebecca Schaefer and The Wrath and the Dawn by Renee Audier, and then as I mentioned, uh, The Fever King by Victoria Lee. So lots to read. Let's check out and real quick I'll see if I can just show you a few things on top of see if it'll pull up on my phone. But yeah, um the rest of this week, teen programming. Um we have crafting and quarantine Wednesday at 3 30, slice of life Friday at 3 30. Um yeah, things are not really loading on my phone because like right now I could show you, but none of the pictures are showing up right now. But that's kind of like what Tapas um, looks like on your phone. And then Webtoon. Let's see if this will pull up. Maybe not. But yeah. Thanks, y'all, for tuning in today, and if you have any webcomic recs, let me know, because I always love to read them, and, um, oh, there we go. Hopefully you found out about some cool things to read, and um, have a great week. Bye.